Got a few updates in regards to pre-ordering the RTX 50 series graphics cards and laptops where you can end up grabbing them or I should say attempting to grab them. And then also all the RTX crispy beautiful RTX 5090 graphics cards. This one right here is definitely my favorite out of the bunch that are going to be released. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and go over the laptops first because there's quite a bit of them. There's like three, six, nine. So there's nine different versions of laptops that we got going on over on the Best Buy website. And this is honestly where my focus is going to end up being. And the reason that my focus is gonna to be towards the, uh, what I would like to call and label laptop, totally just barely 100%. Yeah, your camera, you need to come up a little bit. Your head's like not up in there, not up in the focus area. Still figuring out how to uh, mount that thing. But anyways, let's go ahead and go over said laptop prices. This right here, the AI9HX, is going to have the 5070 Ti. So I do want to quickly say something. I have a little mini PC over there with an 8945H, I think is what the name of the CPU is, that I, I like to do a lot of emulation on. And uh, I just installed my video editor on that. And I also, because the new camera that I got, I can plug in USB-C to USB-C and I can like literally use the camera through USB-C and uh, it records in 4K, no problem, which is pretty sick. And that it just made me realize that you don't really need anything super special for a laptop unless you're going to be playing games on it. And uh, I also figured out a really good BIOS setup for the 285K. My computer feels so crisp right now. So you can see, man, prices are pretty expensive. But honestly, this is where my focus is going to be. And the reason my focus is going to be here is because screw you so um because let me explain something to you really quickly with as far as like pre-orders go so right here nvidia store this is what's going to so nvidia store amazon new egg best buy overclockers uk scan uk br so you got a bunch of places over in the uk so let me explain something to you really quickly Best Buy, Newegg, Amazon, eBay, wherever you want to get your graphics card. This is a marketing tactic, okay? They're going to have you install their app for notifications that are utterly pointless to do because guess what? As soon as you get a notification, click the app to open it. Those graphics cards are without a doubt 769 plus 420% going to be sold out instantly, man. Unless you are literally sitting on your computer not a phone because it takes longer to use your phone in order to do this stuff you literally need to be sitting on a computer in front of wherever you plan to pre-order if you're like me and you have a computer with a few monitors you're gonna have four websites open here four websites open over there and four websites open over there and you have four, eight, 12 different websites and as soon as pre-orders come in you're gonna be like bye 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 and whichever ones you buy or don't buy, you can just cancel your order. And to, to be fair, you might as well just keep it because you need to fucking resell the goddamn thing for five times the amount. But dude, like you need to keep this in mind. Gamers Nexus, Linus Tech Tips. Like these people, these are massive, massive creators that are literally asking their audience to help them get a graphics card. Just let that sink in for a moment. Just let that sink in for a moment, dude. All right, so the reason that I'm talking about this and the pre-orders is because you really need to set your priorities where you need or where you want your whatever, where you want your graphics card to be purchased. Not notifications, not on a phone. You literally need to be taking the day off to sit on a fucking computer as soon as they go live. And it's because, dude, unless they just disable the, and I don't understand, let's just think about that. Just like, think about it, dude. All right. So let, we're going to go over the actual cool, super duper cool graphics cards. There's quite a bit of them. There's only a few white ones, but just think about this. Think about where technology is. Think about how far we've come. Think about what your computer can do. Think about what AI can do. Think about what your phone can do. Think about how fast Bluetooth is now. Think about virtual reality, augmented reality. Think about everything, all the technology we have now. 
and we we don't know how to disable bots from purchasing everything oh wait no we definitely do but just like sony nvidia is the same way as sony they don't give a shit if you can't get one they just fucking care that they sold every single graphics card on their website that they have for sale they don't care that it's going to be on ebay and amazon for five ms five times msrp so i'm dude and i'm just being serious i'm being honest man i'm not even going to bother i'm i'm literally just going to have one website open this one right here and if i don't get it i don't get it and i just don't give a shit you know so my focus is honestly going to be on getting an rtx 5090 laptop because i mean the computer i have right now it's i mean it's like i don't need anything else and i'm in agreement with everybody else it's like it just sucks I, at least for me dude like don't get me wrong i'm excited for the RTX 50 series, don't get me wrong, okay? But I can't be the only one that, and it's not just the release of the RTX 50 series. I don't look forward to games anymore either. And it's the reason I don't look forward to games anymore, I don't really look forward to graphics cards anymore. Gaming is because, in all fairness, most games that release suck. And then... Four months down the road when we get in DLC that we need to pay another $40 for, the game is actually good. And guess what? Most of the time, if you didn't buy the game, you can now buy the game with the DLC, which makes it not suck. Or we buy the game and it sucks because it's unoptimized. Please tell me my cookies are not already burning. I've only been recording for seven minutes. What do you even mean? It smells like they're burning a little bit, and it's kind of making me worry a little bit. <laughs> but anyways, Mario. The Mario gameplay that you're seeing right now, this is on that 8945H mini PC. Geekum. The Geekum. The Geekum PC we did. I actually have a review of it. And I also want to talk about this really quickly. I'm not. This isn't what this video is about. We can go more in depth, because I saw a lot of people whining and complaining about this the other day, which... Look, man, I'm not saying that AI is going to be, like, better than raw performance. But, look, I just, I don't, maybe I'm just, like, an idiot for, like, keeping my expectations, like, on a, like, level playing field before we even have these graphics cards. If generating one frame causes latency problems, surely generating more will. This is why it's so important to understand that DLSS 4 uses frame interpolation. The idea of playing on a delay isn't any different between DLSS 3 generating one extra frame and DLSS 4 generating three extra ones. The process still involves rendering two frames and comparing the difference between them. Your latency doesn't significantly increase between inserting one, two, three or three extra frames in between the two that were rendered. Regardless of, man, my eyes are like getting fucked looking at that black and white. I'm like seeing like some like shroomy mushroom trippy rainbow effect. Oh my God, bro. I don't know, how many of you get that? Like you, you're you staring at the white. I, I, I really, I like the way the black on white looks, dude, but my eyes get like so miscombobulated looking at them. But regardless, man, the reason I'm I'm sharing this is because I see everybody that was they people like I don't understand this like what how are people not able to think for themselves and actually test something for themselves before hopping on the bandwagon of something else somebody else told them I don't understand it dude I just don't understand it's like the freaking the the Ultra Nine Two Eighty Five K. Like, everybody is basing their goddamn opinion off of YouTubers that they watched. As if not pretty much every YouTuber that you watch is biased. Or says something because this happened. Or they were sent the CPU from AMD, but they had to buy the Intel one. Do you think that's not going to, like... Do you think that's not going to, like, whatever, like, counter their opinion of something? Look, man, I've said this in the past, and I'll say it again. I don't care who you are, what type of person you are, how honest you think you are. This is a actual fact. This happens to me. This would happen to you. This happens to everybody that gets stuff sent to them for free, okay? If you get something for free, 
you do not treat it the same way as if you spent your own money on it, okay? If Intel sent me the Ultra 9 285K, my opinion would be different than me buying it myself, which is why I don't take sponsored videos ever. The PCs that you see me building, dude, I buy all that stuff with my own money because I run a PC business. It is an absolute nightmare Con communicating with brands through email. It is so stupid, annoying, and frustrating. And I just want to ask you this. How many times have you watched a YouTuber with a sponsor that you didn't get irritated and f just get super annoyed that you're yet again hearing another ad? It's like you got three YouTube ads now that you got to watch every four or five minutes plus the sponsored advertisement. How many of you actually like watching sponsored shit? I'm guessing none of you. Because I sure as hell don't. So, yeah, dude. Um, Hold up. Okay, it's just that monitor. I got to configure them. I got one of the new OLED monitors. Pre pre preparing for the 5090. <laughs> and I just haven't been. I have, I'm too lazy to have swapped it out and for my main monitor. Um, I haven't, I haven't had time to do that yet, but I'm, I am pretty, 4K, 240 hertz. No, 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 no. Um, I haven't used it long enough to make a video on it. Whoa. Oh my God. He's actually using the shit before he actually makes a video on it. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, dude, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the pre-order stuff. I really am. I'm just going to focus on the laptops because I know those aren't going to just be like Instagon. Whereas if anybody who attempts to get an RTX 5090 I'm sorry, dude, but that's just a fact. You're going to have to take that day off, and you're going to have to sit in front of your computer until the pre-orders go live. That is just a fact. NVIDIA does the same thing as Sony, just with the PS5, okay? Do you think, like, when, when look, I, I understand that when the PS5 first came out, I'm, get, I'm sure that Sony did actually not bring the console. I get a spider over there. Um, I'm sure that... Really, Spider? Fuck you. Now I don't remember what it was. Uh, they didn't bring the console to the store because of COVID. I get it, dude. All right, like whatever. Oh my God, you're getting, you're gonna get sick. As if people aren't already in the store buying their fucking groceries and toilet paper, which, in all fairness, nobody could get toilet paper at that time period. But you get my point, dude. Everybody was already in the store buying their friggin' food and stuff. Oh hey, we can't put a PS5 in the store yet. Everybody's there buying their macaroni and cheese. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, but just despite that, dude, then we get like four years after, it still was still hard to get. Like, what the hell do you even mean, dude? Are you still afraid people are going to get COVID four years later? Come on. Nah, dude, they chose to not put that shit in the store because every time they listed it online, they, they instantly sold out. All right, so NVIDIA is going to do the exact same thing. Think about the 40 series graphics cards. The entire lifespan, the entire lifespan of the 40 series. No, none of them were MSRP the entire life of them. Same with the 30 series. Like, dude, it's been like, what, five years that none of us could get a graphics card for MSRP? Do you really think that's going to change with the 50 series? Do you really think you're going to get a 50 series graphics card? <laughs> Were you able to get a 4090 for MSRP? I know I sure as hell wouldn't, or I haven't, and I've built hundreds of computers, bro. I haven't gotten one graphics card for MSRP other than the 4060 when I was actually building the cheaper, lower-end computers, which I no longer build because it's an absolute waste of my time. And, I, like, I'm, my time is already limited with the higher-end stuff and people wanting the higher-end computers. But you, you get my point, dude. You're not getting a high-end graphics card for MSRP, and there's a 99% chance that you're not going to be getting a 5090 on launch day because... Your finger is much slower than an artificial bot. <laughs> Sorry, bro, but it's just a fact. It's not like I'm the one that's like controlling all these ass pricks. <laughs> I genuinely hope it, dude. I really, really, I genuinely hope that the 5070, I know that everybody with a 4090 is going to get really irritated and mad at me for saying this. I genuinely hope from the bottom of my goddamn heart, 
everybody that bought like 50 to 140 90s i hope i hope to god you go bankrupt i hope to the bottom of my heart you have fifty thousand dollars worth of graphics cards sitting in your goddamn closet that you thought you would sell for two thousand dollars and you're only going to be able to get 500 bucks for each one of them i genuinely hope the 5070 performs the way that we were told it is going to perform that would be the best that would be in Oh my god, dude, that would be better than a birthday Christmas combination of the same day. You know it, I know it. Everybody knows it that doesn't have a 4090 and had to pay two grand for a fucking $1,400 graphics card. I really do. I genuinely hope, dude. I'm sorry, man. I hope you go homeless. I hope you lose your car. 